Hello, my name is Donald Winkler, and I am the translator of Louise Dupre's most recent collection of poetry, La Main Hantée, or The Haunted Hand, which won the Governor General's Award for French Language Poetry in 2017. It is a book-length meditation that begins with a simple lived experience, the author's agonizing decision to end the life of a beloved animal, but then opens out into a profound and wide-ranging contemplation of the human condition human cruelty, human compassion, and human reconciliation with one's own self. I want to thank Guernica Editions for publishing this translation. I will read three passages from the book. The word goodness. It brings back your childhood vernacular. Noon bells, the school. You squirreled it all away deep in old closets. The sky's four corners are lit up now like fireworks, bombs, rockets, the chemistry of war. The world veers every day from one death throw to another, and you must each day zap the adversity before it sets your eyes on fire. You seek to hold your head high even if you can only swallow what's sullied, like the crusts of bread birds beg for. You too beg for a bit of warmth, a ray of light. You do not want to add to the desolation because you know, despite the eruption of images, the soul has not changed since the division of waters and dry land. You are like all those mothers who have always protected their children, fed them, licked them, taught them, devoured them in front of predators. You would like to revive your line of hairy ancestors, you born with a body so naked you can trace with your finger the blue paths of your veins. You are a thin-skinned geography, and you think of the great migrations of those before you who didn't know how to talk, of their bellowing in your sleep, bellowing that rips at the sky when words gutter out in your mouth. You then understand the arrogance of your language and its poverty, how to write I if you don't believe in the human race. You began this book without asking yourself why, and since you have sought no response. You were content with this image, a blot in your hand, as in a Rorschach test. Your poems foresee no radiance or grace. They break down always in the backwash of words. They make their way over shipwrecks and blood spat down upon the page. It's a small thing to write, a babbling that would like to be confession. But you would have to place yourself then at the core of the morning, wipe away its dew, its quotidian tears. You write small so that the language, if you approach it without conceit, will no longer conceal its impotence. You will never have said all. You will write eyeless forever in the second person, spurned by the heavens, the girl impaled on her cruelty. <laughs>